Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Nick, welcome to my channel, a place to watch and talk about movies. And this reaction is going to be Beauty and the Beast, the magical, or Belle's magical world. <laughs> this is the third installment in the Beauty and the Beast franchise. I know it's been a while since I saw the second one, but I really wanted to just finish off, you know, the sequels to the Beauty and the Beast franchise because I did with the Aladdin series and I plan on doing that with like the other animated movies I watched. Because honestly, from what I've experienced, I really enjoyed like lots of the sequels I've seen. I think the Aladdin one is probably the weakest one for me so far, but especially the second Beauty and the Beast movie, the uh, Enchanted Christmas was amazing. Except for the piano villain, I kind of did not like him towards the end, but overall it was actually a very good sequel, just a very good movie in general. So I'm very excited to see this one. And if you guys do want to see the fun reaction to this video or really access my videos, you guys can check out my Patreon first in the description one down below. And let's just hop into it, Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World. Oh, it's like a book! Went to live in a strange and magical castle. They were all living under a spell. They hoped that Belle might be the one who could learn to love a beast. I'm actually hoping that there's like a lot of uh, music in this one. I love this song in the second one. Chandelier, you look re- Oh, he looks a little bit different there. <laughs> like the little light pattern on him. Chandelier, the perfect uh, oh. light. Uh, what? I'm sorry, it's just it's a little bit hard with the animation. It looks just so different <laughs> than what I'm used to. <laughs> Send it now because... Because you say so. Yes, that's it. Because I need it. Sincerely yeah, really and good. so forth. You know the way! She makes me nervous, Lumia. Why is that? Oh, wait, she still? is a woman, Master. <sighs> Tell me how to impress oh. her. Okay, I, I don't know why. I thought like they were past this in, in a way. Especially after the gift he got in the second movie. I've been reading the most wonderful book. Well, perhaps you could tell us all about it at dinner. Things... Oh, the way he walks. <laughs> uh. Well, you and his grace have been getting along. Yes, we have. Call, serene, in a word, harmony. Oh, so all the books are alive? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. oh, for I am, after all, indispensable, irreplaceable, oh. essentially. He seems so, so jealous of him. Here this <laughs> evening more your heart. Oh, wait, why does she look like... I don't know why, I thought she'd be, like, a lot more into it. Chandelier, you're bright. But of course, I'm exceptionally you intelligent. <laughs> Your light is too bright. You'll spoil oh, okay. the mood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, the light can be too bright? It looks fine. Is something wrong? Oh, oh uh, he's so uh, nervous. It, it's a little warm in here. That's all. Uh, oh, Lily is in well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's definitely what she's reading. Open the window. But your eminence. You won't believe what the fairy godmother does. She casts a spell oh. <laughs> that solves... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it only lasts until midnight. Enough! The window. Oh. <laughs> oh, now the lights are gonna go out, aren't they? Others are getting cold. Oh wait, well, is Chip not the in room. this one? It looked like they're not animated. That's not very congenial. Oh, I love Chip. He has to be in this. And Miss Pod. Well, it's my castle and I make the rules. Just because it's your castle doesn't mean you should be rude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's so weird. It seems like like the second movie did not even happen. Like we're kind of further their relationship. I thought they'd be like good by now. The master's conduct last night was, well, less than exemplary. He's not the only one. I simply couldn't hear you, my dear. Oh, <laughs> it's not hear. her fault. <laughs> Seriously, I'm loving the score in this. I'm hoping that there's some songs though. Here. You want me to apologize? No, she shouldn't have to. She did nothing. An apology for calling him rude. I mean. Okay. I mean, yeah. So <laughs> yes. after he apologizes to me first. So you see, she has agreed to apologize. They're still gonna lie to him. <laughs> Mine. Catch, however. Never apologize. I am shocked at his temper in this. I thought he controlled it better. Like, I'll know. It seems like so weird for continuity purposes. If she 
she does not love him before the last petal oh. falls, we will all be enchanted forever. It's just like in between the first and the second, isn't it? That makes more sense. Or like in the middle of the first one, right? There's certainly no point in fretting about it here. I'm so happy Miss Potts is there. <laughs> I really thought she's not going to be in this. Oh, offer my apology and beg your forgiveness. Oh, okay. So they're just going to write a letter pretend it's from him. Have you seen Lumiere? He's avoiding you. He just can't find it in his heart to forgive, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't understand why he's so upset. <laughs> I guess he felt like he was outshined, but like, I don't get it. She, She's fine. Like, you can both have light. On chip, yay, <laughs> yay. <laughs> oh, a letter. It must be from the master. I'm just hoping that she does not confront him about it, because if she does, then he's going to say no. Between us is over. <laughs> <laughs> just that quick, she's like, I got it. I'll, I forgive him now. <laughs> I love that. Don't say a word. <sighs> it's my turn to speak. I'm here to apologize. You are? I want you to know that I never meant to call you a fool. I'm the one who's been foolish. Oh, he's so happy. It's so sweet. Then you'll forgive me? Of course. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Even though the castle looks a little bit different. <laughs> the girl looked back <laughs> courageously for the... <laughs> oh, he hasn't gone through his manners yet. But she would... Oh, she looks so disgusted. Cherish, there. like. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's hard to read while you eat yeah. those. But they're my favorite. Of course, you could eat them later. <clears throat> Very well. <sighs> oh, good, good, good. I really thought he was about to just get like so angry and just start yelling again. We wouldn't want you to have to write another letter of apology, would we? <laughs> <laughs> No, why'd you have to say that? They were about to be home free. I was merely referring to your letter to Bill, Master. And I must say, never have I heard an apology so eloquently worded. Oh, dang it, Cogsworth. <laughs> dang it. I don't understand. Are you taking back your apology? It wasn't my letter! But I have it! Show it to me! You boys confess to what you've done. Unless the truth is revealed, he and Belle will- Aw, oh, they look so sad. <laughs> like, they honestly look like they're heartbroken. There, written on your stationery. It's a forgery. Letter was a, 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 a... Fraud, counterfeit, sham, fake, I worded it. Oh. At Quaid Hill. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, that is such a good spot. <laughs> Seriously, the music in this is amazing. Even though there are no songs, I'm loving just these scores. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? We merely wanted yourself and our master to speak again. They betrayed me. It's okay though, they were doing Please. it to help you. I can't bear to see them harmed. <laughs> He's so great now. I just love seeing how much he cares for Belle. Foot in this castle again. They will have to answer to You're me. Gonna banish them? Beg for help. This is more than I can bear. They can't survive out there. <laughs> I actually love how much it snows and like every single bee in the bees movie so far it snowed. <laughs> it's actually great. It was me. None of this would have happened if I'd apologized. You shouldn't have I'm the to, one though. who should apologize, dear. I must find them. I'll write after them, bring them back, and <gasps> there they are. Oh, they look all oh, the back. The plume, crane, Webster. He'll help us. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, not now with Bell around. Him. He'll let you stay, I'm sure of it. He has a good heart. I mean, it's sweet. I just don't understand, like, how there's such a big part of the story in a way. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> it's a little weird to me that, like, it's focused so much on them. But, but I guess since it fits in, like, in between the first movie, they can't focus on the Beast and Bell, like, so much. 
I just wish they did. <laughs> I've been waiting for one, just one movie that focuses like so much on the Beast and Belle, but like moving forward. Like this one seems to be just focusing on like the same issue they had in the first movie. And you won't see me around when he gets here. No, sir. I'll be so far gone. Definitely have more intimidation in this one. I've been difficult. I know. Really? Oh, <laughs> okay. That, that's actually amazing now. <laughs> To be honest, the fact that he apologized made this like so much better for me. Just this little like short story so far. Will you forgive me? Oh, yes. we, 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 we all forgive you. Everyone has been able to forgive but me. I still don't know what you're forgiving for. <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> we could see the whites of their eyes. For nothing could scare us. Not even vicious wolves. <laughs> You didn't run into any vicious wolves, though. I, I like <laughs> you didn't run into anything dangerous. You just walked out and came back. Don't tell me you've come down to here better. No. You lower yourself to burn brighter. To work more closely with you. No. Huh? We do oh work my. well together, <laughs> no. don't we? Oh, he's like all's forgiven now. Okay. Please forgive me. Oh, <laughs> Lumia. It looks so beautiful with that color palette. Everything is so peaceful. It's quite a lovely evening. Uh, perhaps you two would like to venture onto the veranda. Let's go. Yes, yeah, I love that view. Soon it will be spring. Wait, there's no way that's the end of it. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are times I think they hear, but something's missing. The thoughts behind the words aren't clear. Is there another way to say oh, see, Bell's voice is just so beautiful <laughs> every <can> time. <laughs> oh. I understand you, you understand me. That's the place where we are. I understand you, you understand me. That's the place oh, where we kiss? can start. Oh, okay, I thought they were gonna kiss. I guess that would turn them into the prince, though. Oh, wow. Oh. You seem dizzy with fever. Dizzy? With love. <gasps> Come, Fifi, my girl. Time is of the essence. We must have this room. Spotless. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I guess just leftover ink. A Saturday unlike any other. Fifth anniversary. Yeah. The light of my life. Wait, what? <gasps> okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Wasn't he just flirting with the chandelier in the last short? Dinner for two? What do you think, mademoiselle? Okay, I guess, I guess oh, they're I'm together I'm sure then. whatever it is, it'll be a big surprise. I must have wax in my ear. I thought you said... Oh my <laughs> goodness, no, uh, my child. That's tomorrow. Oh, is Belle gonna help him? Please tell me Belle helps him plan something. Be expecting something special. But of course! I knew that. No, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I must have flowers. I must bathe. Oh my. <laughs> oh, his little hairline there. <laughs> Oh no, what shall I tell her? Uh, I must have a speech. Fifi, words cannot express. What am I? Harry! Urgency. Come with me, Mrs. Potts. Oh, but dear, I'm carrying the master's G. What will he say? I mean, honestly, it's to save the library that we need to, yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, I guess Belle to the rescue. Show's over. Nothing to see. Move along now. Come, 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 come. Orderly fashion. Briskly. Thank oh, I love seeing all the cups just move together. <laughs> it's actually great. I wish they would have a story focused on the cups. I feel like I'd enjoy that so much. What in the world were you doing, Lumiere? I was working on the speech I would give to Fifi on our anniversary. <laughs> Monsieur. I know. Yeah, a yeah I feel like her advice Forgive is me, what's I gonna work. <laughs> is what she <clears throat> says. Just tell her how you feel. But I cannot speak the truth which is in my heart. But sincerity? It's honestly impossible. I feel like you easily could with her. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I was like, aren't you gonna offer to help? 
and I'll help you put your deepest, most honest feelings into words. We cannot do it here. The little one might uh, see us. Uh, oh, is she going to think something's going on with them or something? They say, make beautiful music together. Oh, that was such she a poor choice to of be words. my friend. I began with a serenade. Then we walk together oh my into God. the night. <laughs> oh, this is something else. This really is. That's just how tomorrow night should be. And I'll help you make it happen. <gasps> you can. Well, perhaps it'll be easier if you pretend that I am Fifi. <gasps> she has no shape. <laughs> Dang it. As soon as she walks in, just the worst thing you could possibly say. It's too much. I'm sorry. It's just too far in a way. <laughs> uh, the fact this is the whole second story, I'm actually a little bit disappointed. The first story was pretty great, honestly, like especially compared to this one. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being so mean to this like short movie. <laughs> it's it's not terrible. It's just this story is just so weird to me. It's like so un. It's it's so not what I expected from like a Beauty and the Beast movie in a way. Yeah. Where are you going with that tuba? <gasps> what tuba? Lumiere. <laughs> Weren't you coming to see me? What's this then? Whatever's the matter, dear? If you were I, and you just lost the man of your you dreams, you didn't though. Just you let him talk. Too. I mean, I get it. I get it. A lot of people are like this in some ways. You know, they hear something and they don't even want to confront someone, and they just assume like what they heard is what happened in a way, when it just can be a miscommunication in most instances. Jealousy! That is the most powerful of all emotions. I have never heard of such nonsense. This might serve as a grand last gesture on your part. Seeing as how the master is looking to downsize his collection of silver. Now, what we must do is... Lumiere! What's all this dilly-dallying and why hasn't the master's... Oh, uh, hello. All over for you. <laughs> you big hunk of cluck, you. Uh, but, uh, why, young woman? I'm surprised. I thought like he would have some sort of like kind of friend code with Lumiere. We must but ignore her. Are always Wait, doesn't that offend you minute? at all? No. <laughs> so in control, so in charge, and <laughs> okay. yet also with oh. the devilish sense of humor. Uh, she's probably just trying to get out of her duties. Uh, let's go now. Like this, like this, this one is, oh, I just kind of want this one to end. But you return to your duties this minute. That's uh, much better. Not found in the code anywhere. It's almost done. You will not feel a thing. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Lumiere shall proclaim his... Oh, the doggy's back, finally. Uh, like, seriously, I'm just, I'm so confused on why there's so many new characters and they don't even show the old ones, really. <laughs> like, you know, so many good old characters established. ...of nights, the most perfect and most romantic of all nights ever. This flirt not only steals my love, she steals him on the most important of all nights. Honestly, I probably would enjoy this so much more if they established her in some ways. Like, it's like they just introduced her in this episode after the previous one, Lumiere's, like, with another, like, chandelier or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm, like, getting very critical. It just, it kind of bothers me that this is the last Beauty and the Beast movie that they did. I have done all I can do. There is nothing left for me here. Ah, there you are, my love. Lumiere! Are you ready? For the wonderful evening I have planned for the two of us. Which two? <laughs> you and me, of course. Anniversary. Is the Lumiere actually is just so great, though. <laughs> like, he's the only reason I've loved this. <laughs> I mean, I love, like, part of this, I should say. Look at my nervous little deer. Fluttery as a sparrow. Relax, my love. What a fool I've been. But a fool for love, and there is no better kind. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, what happened? <laughs> I was 
was uh, rather hoping you'd know the answer to that, old chap. Oh, my great one! What shall we do? There is only one thing to do. We must scream like bloodless coward. They're all in trouble. Come quickly! <laughs> oh, the doggy. <laughs> He's like, wait for me. Now, I believe we shall perish. I would if I could. I mean, I'm sorry, and I guess I guess I want her to survive too. It's not like I hate her. This is all my fault. If only I had trusted you. There you go. You <laughs> there must you go. know Finally. I love you. I am not going anywhere. Get a tight hold and don't let go. You are heaven sent, a, a beautiful angel. Oh. <laughs> Saved it nice. <laughs> that little hook on Mrs. Potts. <laughs> oh, that was great. I'm afraid our anniversary was far from perfect. <laughs> oh, that was actually cool. <laughs> Just Do you suppose up. things will be all right now? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. That second story was honestly like one of the like that was hard for me to watch. <laughs> like the first story was good, then that one I was like, oh no, like this is so not it for me. And I'm sorry, I, I know it was so hard on that last story. I, I'm really not trying to be like mean. I just I so didn't understand why that was one of the stories that they picked for this. It was nice seeing though Lumiere in like his love life a little bit. It's worth you. Uh Bellowed, sir? The girl will join <laughs> me for lunch tomorrow. Excellent idea, uh, sir. And my cape is still torn. Uh, Are you losing control of your staff? Me, sir. No, sir. Him. <laughs> oh, the way he said no. <laughs> I actually love some of these angles though, just like between cogs with the beast or like any of the objects in the beast. He just looks so much more ferocious and big. Come on, you got it, you got it. Someone's go oh, I thought someone's gonna pick him up or something. Master's a lovely fellow if you can overlook a few things. <laughs> like oh, his personality, <laughs> his appearance. <laughs> I brought that on. <laughs> the only thing I'm allergic to is Oh, she's allergic to birds. Bird, look. Oh my oh my god, he doesn't Hello? Are you in there? A bearable place! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. What took you so long? Oh, I thought it was about to fly out there. <laughs> is it me or is it really hot in here? <laughs> You're having lunch with me. It's just like the dinner conversation in the first movie. Just so forceful. Might be a bit more gracious. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Come on, you need yeah, to. Precisely my point. Courtesy might be afforded, huh? Mm, right, Mrs. Potts. <laughs> Perhaps oh, you will so, like, join nervous. me for lunch. <laughs> I accept. Hmm. Oh, does he smell a bird? What is that smell? <laughs> She is doing a terrible job of covering up. I've been meaning to air it out. <laughs> we are talking close. <laughs> what a rush! What could he possibly have against a little bird like this? I know, it honestly looks so harmless. Oh no, his wing. It's broken. I thought so. Oh, wing is broken. Miss Potts! Your secret's safe with me? Yeah, of course it is, Miss Potts. He looks funny with a stick under his arm. <laughs> Dear, not too warm, is it? I'm actually surprised that the bird didn't the back. That file is red. The him, him, hey, 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 settle down. When Cogsworth speaks, people listen. But enough about me. I love me. it like no. <laughs> Don't you mind. The cutler is cutting up. The dishes won't heed my wishes. Oh, is this Even the goose pate won't obey. There. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> oh, and Miss Potts is not even like mean. Now, first order of business. Again! Mm. 
Let's get a move on, shall we? Dishes to the kitchen for a scrubbing. Why did they do it? What did you exactly? It's all in knowing how to talk to them. That's actually great, honestly. The sweet and like nice approach worked. Nice and sweet yeah. indeed. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Molly <laughs> which has made them such a discipline uh... problem. Wait, why the music gets so dark there? What time is it? I don't know, sir. You How do you not know? You were caught. <laughs> <What do> you... <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, how do you not know the time? Exactly. Oh, 12.07 seven p.m. Minutes later. <laughs> uh, perhaps she's still... Uh... Yeah, don't, don't get too mad already. Perhaps she thought I meant... 12 midnight? For lunch! Go get her! No one, but no one pays the least bit of attention to a woman. Ah! Right behind you, sire. Merely stop to tie my shoes. <laughs> she don't have shoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so to be like, you don't even have shoes. You need. What's <gasps> keeping you? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, the truth is, I found a bird today. And you found him? a what? You will get rid of it immediately. I'll do nothing of the sort. You will. Well, of course you. I'm taking care of him. I yeah, look, look how happy he is. <laughs> He's honestly so happy. Oh, stay with me. I want that bird out of my castle. But now. <laughs> Come back here. Leave him alone. <laughs> you okay? That was a horrid fall. Is he all right? I think so. I honestly love how caring she is. Like, she is amazing. <laughs> mm. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she thinks it's beautiful. That is so sweet. Such a wonderful sound. Oh, but actually... Really? I'll keep it's him in a cage in the parlor. Not a cage? Can't keep him in a cage. He needs to be free. Like he he is free. To sing for me. Bird is mine. I've spoken and there's no more to be said. That's actually so sad. He's doing the bird just what he did with her. Don't lose hope, love. Once you've lost that, you've lost everything. Our luncheon is to be rescheduled for one in the... Oh my, no, no one's going to pay attention again. <laughs> you need Mrs. Potts. I alone am in charge. What's the matter with you? Why don't you sing? I if you sang, sir, the bird might I don't think the beast is going to sing. <laughs> I don't think he's going to sing. That's... I'm gone. <laughs> He's trying to sing. <laughs> you are to come with me at this moment. Oh, very well. I feel like when you force spell, it just makes it so much harder. You gotta let her come organically in a way. But I mean, I guess you trapping the bird is not gonna like help her. <laughs> like she's not gonna be like, okay. Why do you yell at the poor thing as if you own him? I command him to sing. Why won't he? Because he isn't happy. Birds shall sing for my pleasure and mine alone. Your orders, sir, are words and words alone. <laughs> Dare she speak to me like that? <laughs> oh, he looks so angry. <laughs> Do you think you'd sing if you were in a cage? Is it actually going to resonate with him? The time has come. Come on, you gotta let me go. You gotta. Oh, we must so see if you've fun. healed. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's great. I knew he probably was going to, but the way the music was going, he was a little bit aggressive, so I didn't know for sure. Master should keep a tighter grip on the creature, lest it you know, fly off into the castle. That isn't necessary. He stays because he trusts me. Now now that you actually let him be free, though. <laughs> it's just like with Belle in the first movie. I love that. Oh, the connection is so, so strong between her and the bird. Fly. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I thought it was gonna be fine. Oh, my heavens, no! I must save him. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> I have no intention of disobeying. Ah, it's spread out! No, so someone's gonna kill <laughs> Oh, nice, they all did it together. How time flies. Seeing the beast have so much joy over the bird is so pure. <laughs> it's just so great. Oh, I can't stop smiling over it. Oh, they have the big table back. Very good. It's your friend. Huh? Oh, he still flies around He's the castle. Come back. Oh, <laughs> that is great. And he has a little mate. Ah, love is most definitely in the air. Flourish and grow. Always attentive to the needs of the other and honesty. Utter honesty is the key on which our world exists. Score. <laughs> Seriously, the score in this one has been amazing. Uh, I think better than the second one for sure. I don't think better than the first one, but better than the second one, definitely. Okay, but besides the enemy watching Beauty and the Beast spells magical world for the first time, I, I, I definitely enjoy the first and the third story. The second story, honestly, got me a little bit frustrated just, just because, like, considering the whole point of Beauty and the Beast, you know, revolves around Belle and the Beast, especially with how the second movie went, I thought in the third one we were going to get a lot more development for the Beast and Belle, and even in the first story when they kind of, you know, set the tone that this is in between the first movie and it's not like after the second movie, I honestly was fine with that because I thought, you know, they would explore the Beast and Belle's relationship a little bit more, kind of show the slow parts of them getting to the stage at the first movie where like they, you know, actually fall in love. I don't know why, I thought that was going to be kind of like a main focus in this one, and the first story kind of was, you know, kind of exploring Belle's and the Beast relationship a little bit better, and that's why I really enjoy the first story i love that connection and just kind of exploring the beast and bell a little bit more connecting them a little bit more the third story i also really enjoyed because it just showed kind of the nuance of like the beast how he treated the bird and how he treated bell and how many similarities there were like i really enjoy the first and third story the second story with lumiere and his uh girlfriend <laughs> type thing i don't know i didn't really enjoy that one to be honest i feel like that's mainly because just of all the new characters that were introduced and the fact that like they set this up very quickly. I felt like it was something that should have naturally kind of grown, if that makes sense. Like, if they built this relationship up between Lumiere and the candle over the first and second movie, like, by little bits, I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But just the fact that it felt so shoehorned in and also just the whole conflict between them was so minor in my opinion i know a lot of people actually experience that where like they miss you or something and then they kind of just run with it so i get how important that story is because like it is how so many people would react i feel like at least in some situations in their life but i just feel like the way they executed it in this was just a little bit too kiddish for me if that makes sense and just a little bit too much like on the note i don't know how to explain it it felt very much by the books and just not a lot more creativity expanded upon that and also once again the fact that the girl uh the mop or made character i just I, I don't know i did not really connect with her a lot she honestly just I, I the whole time i just wish she talked to lumiere about it or even with lumiere and her on the date like that she apologized to him or something but it felt like at the end when lumiere surprised her like she just forgot all about it and did not even like bring it up again i felt like they should have at least brought it up again and they're gonna delve into that so much as like an issue so by the way i just have to apologize for like a fifth time for that second story because i feel like i just trashed that episode so much <laughs> but overall i did enjoy all three of these stories i would probably give this a seven it's a little bit like below the second one for me kind of an opposite of aladdin thing where i like the third aladdin better than the second one now with this one i like the second one better than the third one but also the second one having to do with the christmas and mainly focusing on bell and the beast definitely added a little bit more to me honestly and even though this one had no characters like the piano the second story felt kind of like that piano section in the second movie where i just I did not like the second story that much, but I love the first and the third. I just had to say that because I feel like just, I, I have to be completely honest with you guys because the fact that I gave this a seven is kind of remarkable to me because I really did enjoy it, but it just, it is kind of weird that I just like the second story pretty hard, honestly, compared to most animated things that I've seen, but the first and third story, once again, I really loved it, just how much it explored Bells and the Beast relationship, especially in third story, it was kind of indirect. I really appreciated that. So once again, seven, I did enjoy this one. I had a lot of fun with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. And I'll see you guys in my next big reaction.